Hey guys, so during Hasbro's uh, investor meeting, the, the announcement was Magic the Gathering or Magic Online was a top five eSport. They did not say it was going to be or it should be. They said it was currently a top five eSport. Now, obviously this is false from pretty much every information, but normally when you make a statement like this to a group of investors or at your investor day, which is a very important day, uh, for corporate, I mean that's you know it's everything's corporate policy. You need to back that up because um, if you don't back it up, you're going to be in trouble. Like you will be in trouble. So it's called at the Hasbro Investor Day. I, I didn't even know they had one of these. A top five esport. Uh, Chris Cox is the new CEO of Hasbro, or not Hasbro, Wizards of the Coast. And this is important because he comes to Microsoft and he has a sales background. He's not a technical guy. He's not a creative guy. He's a sales person. And if I were him, or if I were wanted to make an impact, I wouldn't tweet these people who have been on the team for a long time. I would tweet him because he seems to have the power to overturn stuff even more than Greg Leeds. And we'll talk about Greg Leeds because Greg Leeds in the past has tried to get rid of the Pro Tour for, you know, he tried to get rid of it. RD said, no, we need to keep it. He tried to get rid of it again and then eventually he left. And it was replaced by Chris Cox, who's a total outsider with no loyalty to anyone in R&D or anyone on the, he's going to bring his own team. That's what happens when a GM ha comes to your favorite NFL team or your basketball, any sports team that brings in a GM, brings in, he'll bring in a coach, he'll bring in his staff. They're not going to retain the same people. And that's what's going to happen, uh, unfortunately, pretty soon probably. So new product uh, is coming out, Magic. Uh, it's called Magic Digital Next. I love the concept of this product. I did not know it was coming out. I had not heard any news about it. It's been hush hush, but it could change if I believe this is what it is. And I see no reason that it would not be a simplified Hearthstone version of Magic. So Hex, this game, which I play, it's called Hex and Magic tried to sue them, but that's another story altogether. It looks good. It feels good. It feels digital. You cannot make take physical cards and put them on Magic Online because some of these physical cards are not meant to be played online. And you cannot. You need simplified processes. You need a game that is easy to understand for new players, easy to pick up, and you need that new player. Just like poker, like the the dream is the crisp money maker dream. You can be an amateur poker and you can player and you can take down the best in a class. And that's what Chris Moneymaker did. And then poker went poof. Currently, like, you, A, you need all these mythics, which is not happening for an amateur new player. And B, it's just too complicated. It's, it's just, you, you cannot expect a new player to win at any level outside maybe like a very casual FNM. So we have a uh, new product, Magic Digital Next, which is an uh, exciting product. Uh, and then, the most interesting part of it is this, which will be the next video, a concept of we need new pros. This is Wizard of the Coast's biggest argument is that the current pros right now are not doing enough. Um, if you look at League of Legends, you look at TSM, there's a dude named Doublelift. He has one of the most inspirational stories, which they have like, it's like five segments. He's one of the most famous uh, players in North America at least, and every player has a story. Um, Matt uh, and it's from Team Liquid, they have all these creative stories where League of Legends will invest or the team will invest in shooting their lifestyle, shooting their story. His story is he came from an Asian family, he wanted to play video games, his parents wanted him to go to college, they kicked him out, his mom kicked him out of the house, he was living on the streets, he met a dude called Travis. You know, he was just a homeless dude for a little bit of time. And he became the best, well, in my opinion, one of the best at League of Legends. And that story, documented, inspires so many people to go out and do it. So you might say a magic documentary is a big step, and it is, but I'm going to tell you why it wasn't so good uh, in the next video. But yeah, I mean, you, you really need these you need your pros to be the headliners. You need them to YouTube, you need them to stream, you need them to write as many articles as they can, you need them to get as much Twitter. If you look at a Magic Twitter, uh, if you look at someone who's not named Brian Kibler and compare 
their a Magic Pro's Twitter account to a League of Legends Pro's Twitter account, you you're off by a couple of zeros, which is ridiculous in my opinion, but it's true. Like you can either put your head in the sand and say, oh well, you know, Hearthstone's not a competitor or whatever. I guarantee you the new CEO believes Hearthstone's the competitor. Right? He's already made that announcement. He's made the bold announcement, or, or somebody's made the bold announcement at Investor Day, which is a corporate event, that Magic is a top five esport today. And they want to get to one and two. Anyways, uh, leave me a comment. Let's have a good discussion about what you feel like the solutions are. Do you feel like there are, you know, Magic being esport is a good concept, or do you think Magic should just be paper? Uh, paper, the problem with paper, in my opinion, is you're limiting your growth. You never see any new paper card games take off, right? Uh, Force of Will is a little different, but Force of, uh, I'll take uh, Card Fight Vanguard. It's more popular right now online in their beta, and it's only in beta than they are on physical cards. because You can stream because the, the, there's not enough people to play the game until you get online, and that's what Magic I hope will be. It will be like a League of Legends, uh, Magic Next Digital, and we'll get into that discussion a little later. But leave me a comment. What do you guys think about this? Am I wrong to say that it will be good for us? Or do you, you think it could, could collapse the uh, Magic economy, if you will? Anyway, bye guys.